2023 was a crazy year in the real estate market. Home sales plummeted, mortgage rates soared, and the home price crash that was supposed to happen didn't. So what does 2024 have in store? Well, in this real estate market update for January, I'm going to share with you the latest predictions on what to expect in terms of home prices, mortgage rates, and total home sales. And then make sure you stick around until the end, as I'm going to let you know where you can get fixed rate mortgages below 5% in today's market. Hi, this is Andrew with the Andrew Smith team, EXP Realty here in Frisco, Texas. And I recently went back, had a little bit of fun. I watched some YouTube videos from this time last year that were talking about what to expect in the 2023 real estate market. And I have to say, the vast majority of the predictions were that the real estate market in 23 would absolutely crash and burn. There were pictures of fire and all kinds of stuff going on and things aflame and it just looked like the apocalypse out there. And while the total number of home sales did plummet, we normally see between five and a half and six million total home sales across the country annually. And last year there were 3.8 million. So home sales were way down, but home prices, rather than falling up to 20% as predicted, they actually went up for the vast majority of the country. Now, if you'd like to see how home prices are trending in your local market, see the link in the description below to my weekly market report. From that report, you can look up the latest data for any city or zip code in the entire country. So back to home prices. So why exactly in 2023 didn't home prices fall? Charts and graphs and data and predictions are all great, but they're all based on assumptions. And those assumptions are not always right. And they don't always take common sense or human behavior into account accurately. Sometimes it's overlooked. Sometimes it's just assumed wrong. As mortgage rates rose last year, the expectation was that buyer demand would fall, which it did, as evidenced by the big drop in the total number of home sales. But the other half of that equation is that in order for home prices to fall, you would need supply to increase. So you'd need that supply to keep going up as demand fell. And it didn't. And that wasn't forecast and it wasn't expected. But to be honest with you, that's one of those assumptions that was made that supply would continue at its normal pace that wasn't taking common sense into play. So let me explain. If you currently own a home and you're sitting on a 3% mortgage, why in the world would you put that home up for sale to sell it and go buy another one and lock in a 7% mortgage? It doesn't make any sense. And that there wasn't understood until later and is now being referred to the lock-in effect when it comes to housing supply. So take a look at this chart here. This is showing how many of the outstanding mortgages in the country have a rate of less than 5%. And as you can see, it's 78.7% .7 of all mortgages have a rate of less than 7%. And it's broken down there by exactly what percentage are at what mortgage rate, with the highest one being somewhere between 3 and 4%. But what exactly does all of that mean? And how does that impact supply? Well, what they've come to find out is that when you look at this lock-in effect, if someone has a rate below 3%, they're absolutely not selling. No way, no how. Right? If it's between 3 and 4%, they're probably not selling. 4 and 5%, they're really going to have to think about it. It's going to have to make a lot of sense. And if their rate is 5% or above, then they probably are not impacted by current mortgage rates, and they will go ahead and sell. But if you, as you see on this pie chart, 
the vast majority of it's in orange and red, which are the people that they don't really believe are going to sell unless we see a change in mortgage rates that make this lock-in effect more manageable, so to speak. So where exactly do we go from here in terms of home prices? I mean, after all, what goes up must come down, right? Well, yes and no. I mean, when markets get overheated, corrections usually occur, whether that be housing, whether that be the stock market. But that doesn't mean that if a correction happens, the prices are going to fall back to where they were three or four years ago and stay there. It means they'll correct and then things will start returning to normal or that's what usually happens. Now, the housing market was running extremely hot, as you may recall, back towards the end of 2021 and 22. That is when multiple offers and bidding wars were everywhere in the marketplace. And guess what? That bubble did pop. Exactly when it popped and how much it popped really depends on where you live. Now, I'm going to share my screen here and show you what that looked like in Frisco as an example. Now, what we're looking at here is the trend of median home prices in here in Frisco, Texas, over the last three years. And for us here in Frisco, here was our peak. April of 2022, home prices reached a median price of $760,000. Where's that bubble pop we were talking about? Right here. This is when our market here corrected. This is the correction that many people are actually still waiting for, not realizing that it already happened. You know, it's like anticipating that event so much that you actually don't recognize it when it occurs. And prices fell all the way through down into October. So you can see by October, the median sales price in Frisco was down to $630,000. We did have a funky drop in February of 2023 due to kind of the mix of homes that was in that market. But since then, prices have been fairly stable and actually ended 2023 up year over year, almost 1%. So here in Frisco, as of December 2023, the median sales price is back to $720,000. We're still not back to where we were at the peak but it is up compared to where it was in December of 2022. And that's not the same everywhere. There are many areas of the country that have actually already gotten back to and exceeded the peak that they experienced somewhere in 2022. Now, we haven't seen that yet here in Frisco, but I don't think it will be long before we actually do, as it's widely believed that home prices across the entire country are going to rise in 2024. Now, how much they rise really depends on your local market conditions. And it also is tied into what exactly happens with mortgage rates. So Selma Hepp is the chief economist at CoreLogic. And here's what she had to say. With mortgage rates dropping, demand for homes in early 2024 is likely to be strong and will again put pressure on prices, similar to the trends we observed in early 2023. That is when prices started to go up again in many areas. And most markets will continue to reach new home price highs over the course of 2024. And that kind of ties in with what we are seeing here. And it might be what you're seeing in your local market as well. Now, the interesting thing is, is Bright MLS, which is one of the largest MLS systems in the entire country, did a survey of home buyers that took themselves out of the market in 2023 with all the craziness that was going on. They put their plans on pause and they wanted to find out why. Here's what they had to say. The top three reasons given were mortgage rates, inventory and affordability or home prices. Now, I found this graph pretty interesting because a lot has been made about affordability, and it will again this year. It's going to be a topic, especially in an election year. They're talking about the fact that home prices are way too high, affordability compared to wages, everything else, it's gotten out of whack. But the funny thing is, 
when you actually ask the buyers, mortgage rates were the number one reason. And as those mortgage rates have continued to come down, we are starting to see an uptick of buyer activity once again. And mortgage rates are directly tied into affordability. Even though on this graph, it's showing with home prices, ironically, mortgage rates impact home prices a lot more than, I'm sorry, mortgage rates impact affordability a lot more than home prices do. For more information on that, check out this video I recorded on that recently. So 72% talked about mortgage rates and 34 and a fourth percent or 34.4% talk about inventory. And that's that lock-in effect that we were talking about with regards to sellers. Based on the, the latest information from the Fed, um, it does look as though mortgage rates are going to continue to fall. Now, Don Baker, or Dean Baker, I'm sorry, he's the senior economist for the Center of Economic Research. He says it also appears that mortgage rates are now falling again. They will almost certainly not fall to pandemic lows. So if you're hoping for rates to get back to three or 4%, it's just not going to happen. Sorry about that. But we may see soon rates under 6% again you know, which would be low by pre-Great Recession standards. And, you know, so going back to the mid-2000s, and it's widely expected that somewhere in the high fives to right around six is where we will see rates as we move further into 2024. Also, Goldman Sachs is seeing the exact same thing. They've read what the Fed had to say in the latest minutes from their meeting, and they're saying they now forecast three consecutive 25 basis point cuts in March, May, and June to reset the policy rate from the level that Powell has recently taken to describing as well into restrictive territory. Basically saying that Chairman Powell believes everything's moving in the right direction and he's going to give them what they need in order to be able to start cutting rates. Now, you may recall from other videos that I have done that when the Fed cuts rates or raises rates, that federal funds rate doesn't directly impact mortgages, but it does influence them. The mortgage rate is closely tied to the yield on the 10-year treasury note. So keep an eye on that. If you see that moving down, that is when you will see mortgage rates move down. But mortgage rates are also closely tied to inflation. Because inflation goes up, mortgage rates goes up. Inflation comes down, mortgage rates come down as well. What saved home prices from appreciating even more in the second half of 23, 2023 and will help keep the pace of appreciation down in 2024 is the supply of homes being brought to the market from the new home builders. In fact, the National Association of Home Builders recently said the market currently requires a higher level of new construction inventory due to persistent lack of resale inventory. Newly built homes available for sale accounted for 31% of total homes available for sale this past November, compared to an approximate 12% historical average. So in other words, there's nearly three times as many new homes being sold in the mix of total sales than we normally see overall. And again, that goes back to that lock-in effect that I was describing just a little while ago. Now, I can tell you that here in North Texas, the new home builders had an absolute record year in 2023. Total homes built were approximately 4% more than they were in 2022. And for all of the communities that I have visited in the first week of this year, they are telling me that they are not seeing any slowdown. As a matter of fact, they have seen an increase in foot traffic and activity as mortgage rates have declined. So right now it is looking overall as though 2024, I would call it a year that we are going to see things go back to normal. What I mean by that is you're going to see a more normal level of home sales. I don't know that we'll quite get back to the levels that we've seen in the past, but you're going to see home sales increase. 
mainly due to the fact that there will be more inventory available. You cannot sell what isn't for sale. The new home builders are bringing more inventory to the market. And as the mortgage rates come down and the lock-in effect is eased, you're also going to start to see more resale sellers step back into the current market as well. Now, speaking of new home builders, I promised at the beginning of the video to let you know where you could find the absolute best deals and mortgage rates below 5% now, today. And that's in some of the new home communities. Now, as mortgage rates soared in 2023, the builder shifted their incentives towards financing and mortgage rate buy downs in order to keep those sales moving. And it worked, as I just said, record years here in North Texas. And that hasn't changed as we're moving into 2024. I was just at a community yesterday where Toll Brothers were offering fixed rate financing of 4.99% for an example on some of their homes, not all of them. And another big local builder, Highland Homes, are now actually offering an incentive of up to $20,000 to be used towards financing buy downs and or closing costs. Now, if you'd like additional information on the best incentives and what the different builders are offering in the different communities here in the Frisco area, I invite you to reach out. My number is up on the screen now. Just give me a call. I'd be more than happy to share that information with you. And if you found value in this video today, I invite you to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as I bring new videos just like this out each and every week, as well as tour some of the best opportunities available, quick move in homes where price discounts as well as interest rate reductions are also available. Now I invite you to stay tuned for one of these videos coming up next.